Alright, so we're going to do a little bit of a time skip here. Calmere? Are we recording yet? Yeah, we're recording. Hold on. We're going to do a little bit of a time skip here. Sigheim? Find yourself having wandered a fair distance away back down into the tunnels after Kalmir had once again insulted your grand goal of getting into Valhalla. You've been wondering what feels like about 20 or so minutes. Nothing has been making itself known to you. It's the tunnels have been eerily quiet. You found yourself at the bottom of one of the tunnels, the center opening up into a very large crater. This room only maybe could hold three or four people. This crater filled with the purple ichor that you saw in the room below. Or at least you would assume it's below. It calls to you very much like Bloodwood. On that note, we're going to move over to Kalmir. Sigheim has been missing for about 20 minutes at this point. Right. Um, so Kalmir doesn't really have any intention of following him to see what he's up to. Dude's free to do his own thing. Uh, so Kalmir's going to be looking for the rest of the, uh, the werewolves that we have a, uh, very temporary alliance with. <laughs> Very temporary. Uh, looking for signs of them, if they're still doing their thing, or if they're taking a break, I don't know. The last you had heard, they were essentially taking the fight to the enemy. But that does not really give any sort of direction or anything of that nature. Right. Because we were also supposed to have a guide in there, but said guide... Never showed. <laughs> okay, so I don't know where the werewolves went. Don't know where the guide went. You know where the professor and George went. Oh, wait, George. George is a werewolf. You also don't know where he went. Don't know where exactly, yes, this is true. But I also do know he's not with the rest of his pack, at least. That is true. Because we may need to have a a change in plan if we get the materials that they're searching for. Because that's going to change the entire game. So planning with George would be a, a priority in that regard. So you wish to look for George? Yeah. Uh, give me your necessarily in a city, but you're in a... Well... Dying Park. town is still kind of <laughs> a way to phrase it, but give me streetwise plus wits. Got yeah, no streetwise... No successes. I'll try. I still have a wound penalty. <laughs> Never having been here before. It's a bit confusing making your way around. Uh, you find yourself doubling back when you don't mean to. It's not like this place is a labyrinth or anything like that. It's just... When you don't know the way, you don't know the way. Yeah, that makes sense. And I have nothing to link to him. 
So I can't I can't even teleport to him. <laughs> or him to me. Great. Leave it to a dog to just wander off. Speaking of which, where's Jam? Oh yes, where is Jam? He's been following me, obviously. He's my dog. I thought Jam was a she. She, yes, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> As you can clearly tell, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, so yeah, jam would be, I guess, just healing, I suppose would be the word. You know, just walking, walking next to me, making sure that uh, nothing jumps out. She's on guard duty. I don't suppose you can sniff him out, girl. Give me a roll. That be her role or yes. an animal can roll? Yes. Be okay. her role. And I, I feel like you don't need to use animal can in this particular situation. Da, 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 da. So it would be for tr tracking or. Yes. Wits composure or survival and something that survival but i do need to make a very big um here because part of me that thinks i remember something but i may be wrong just need to take a quick look see here in werewolf okay nah okay you're good so, with survival? I'm okay with that. That sounds okay. okay. That's a good roll. She's very good. Nice. Good girl. Thanks her a little bit. She obviously hasn't had, like, an actual whiff, you know, of something of his. But then again, if she, if you had something of his, you... I could have just gone... <laughs> but eventually she does seem to pick up a scent that and starts leading you towards back towards the park eventually leading you to one of the houses near the park she kind of sits down at the front door very well then uh Galmer will knock. Perception? Do, do, do. Two successes. You don't hear anything inside after your knock. Mm. Walk around to a window, peek inside, anybody? The house is well kept, clean, tidy, but the lights aren't on. Clearly, what had ha what's happened here is she led you to his house. Mm. The but greatest, he's not here. Yeah, the greatest concentration of his smell. Makes sense. Well, you still did good, girl. <laughs> not exactly what I was going for, but he's going to jiggle the doorknob. Is it open? It's locked. Of course it is. But I know that means absolutely <laughs> nothing to you. Of course. I mean, locked door ridiculous do you have a lock pick set on you don't need a lock pick set when you have arcana but no i don't have a lock pick set <laughs> <clears throat> all right and i'm trying to think if this is an act of hubris because i mean you what is your strength uh three you'll probably kick down the door with yeah. strength athletic yeah so you unlock it, you have other ways to get in. Yeah. 
So up to you. Hubris roll and then go ahead and do your cast. Or cast and then do your hubris roll. Let me rephrase that. Or go through another means. You are wisdom, what, 10? Nine. Might as well be 10. <laughs> it's up there. Um. Well, risking... Kicking down the door is a bit much. <laughs> That's almost as bad as, you know, risking wisdom. <laughs> they're they're about, about comparable in terms of risk. Uh, so he's going to, I guess, wander around the house. Perhaps he could find something that he could use as a link to George. Some personal item that he's used often out in the yard, in the backyard. Get out to the backyard. You notice... Not a completely rusted, but it is fairly rusted swing set. Looks like maybe... The child that used to use it is a little too old now. Uh, there's a nice, there's a nice patio deck, grill. Honestly, uh, you know, I gotta get a little down home here, but it's pretty much your white picket fence almost type house. A very normal. <laughs> Okay, well, I, Kelmer doesn't know George very well. So, first impressions, does he seem the barbecue type? <laughs> As in, does he, is he the one that uses the barbecue or does maybe he is another member of his family? <laughs> Don't know a lot. Um, however, the one thing you were told is he is an alpha. Boss man likes to take charge, so he's probably the one in charge of the grill. All right. That'll work for me. So I'm going to, I'm going to approach the grill. Pick up the tongs, I suppose. Got to give them a couple clacks, because that's what you do. <laughs> clack, clack, and I'm... Um, clack. clack, clack. It's a requirement every time you pick up tongs. In Kalmir's um, here, head, he, you just hear, like, that voice in the back of your head. I am crab. I am crab, crab man. Clack, clack. <laughs> um, so, I believe Space Mage Sight can detect sympathies how close a person is to an object i can look it up really quick but i'll be using uh mage sight to on that note yeah we're gonna move over to jimmy rum has <laughs> left to do what has been asked leaving you alone And I'm completely blanking on what they're called. You're in a... Hollow. Hollow. I wanted to say hollow, but then I had a part of me going, is that mage? Am I going to say something from mage? It is. It is from mage as well, but they're different. Okay. Yeah. One is an A and the other is an O. <laughs> That's a hollow and hollow. Anyway, so yeah. I'm... Um, uh... Yeah, I believe I was planning on going to the going into the dreaming roads. How does one do that from here? I don't believe we even did that in our changeling game. No, this uh Um So the plan is, uh, so there's two gates, gate of ivory and the gate of horns. 
Um, so Gator, but, uh, at the moment, I want to go initially go into the Gate of Ivory and basically go into my own subconscious to see what I can dig up. Moment. At the Gate of Ivory, just so I can... Right, so you're going to fall asleep first. Mm hmm. And then a resolve composure. Yep. All composure. This is. I'll tell you. So you are essentially a ephemeral entity. You now have power, finesse, resistance. You have dream health rather than health. Mm hmm. Clarity plus weird. So, yeah, loads. So, with that success, tell us about your dream, Jimmy. Oh, so um, it's in a against sort of up against um, long line of buildings, which goes goes around and seems to sort of circle just back on itself, no way in or no way out. Um, and then all the um, and just like these people whose faces are kind of like almost like they've been like it's water in paint, so they're kind of like smeared away. Um, like water's got into sort of like fine detail painting that was sort of going in one door and coming out of the other um, and just like kind of very much moving around this location like weirdly almost like they're slowed down and Jimmy just kind of stood in the middle absolutely stock still almost sort of unable to move under this really kind of like ominous yellow sky This is your subconscious. What are you looking for? So in all those times we found everything that we know from the hedge. What do I know about this? For the GM, uh, elaborate on what you mean by this. Do I know, can I get anything further about what we're dealing with what can we do is there something like i say is there something buried away i feel like i need to actually question to the mage in the group e What is the arcana that is most tied to dreams? Mind. Mind. And... Hmm. Trying to think here. If there's anything I can provide... Everything, as you begin to dig through these dreams, the subconscious, everything about this has been optimized for spreading. As you look back, it doesn't destroy until the absolute last moment. Thinking back to when the ground started to crumple, that was because everything had already been eaten away. It was nothing but a shell to begin with. 
Obviously, once a bit of pressure was put on it, that's when it cracked. This thing, while it does kill, is meant to spread and grow as much as it can before the death of whatever it's attempting to corrupt. Or not even attempting to corrupt. That's not it. Correct for work. It is optimized to survive at any and all costs and become dominant. In the in the terminology that everybody is familiar with. An irresistible force meets an unmovable object. It would essentially be the unmovable. Even when you kill it, it seems to split apart into some form that allows it to continue to live. And that is when one of the dream versions of the adult form catches notice of you, catches notice of you. This one seems to tear itself out of the painting as it were. The sting are gleaming in the pale yellow skylight. Oh, just... Come on, show me what you are. Approaches you. What is your defense? I uh, don't know. Um, because it's... It's weird. Yeah, <laughs> I'm aware. It's weird, yeah. Uh, which, uh, which stat would I be... It's... Just adding everything together for finesse? Or... Or just use my normal one? No, it, I know it's different for um, ephemeral entities. You look at spirits real quick because ephemeral entities kind of all. Hmm? Roughly, so to speak. I think it, it's just fin. Corpus will power. Is equal to power or finesse, whichever is lower. Um, so that'd be nine with power. Here we go, here we go, 32 die roll. <laughs> no. Zero successes. As the singer lashes forward, 
Or do you choose to evade? Um... Given that it's a dream, um, <laughs> just moving several feet to the side is that kind of like. So, at this point, I want you to make me a perception check. Three. So, you're going to notice two things. One, you're going to notice as that tail lashes forward where you used to be, a few of those little parasitic worms leak out of the end. They land into the ground and begin to burrow. It's also here as you move yourself in your dream, you notice the dream respond and move you. It has a very telltale sign. This creature shows none of that. It stays, it stays solid. This thing is not a part of your dream. This is a real one. Oh boy. Um, here go, Jimmy. <laughs> Don't die. I, I die, I'd just wake up, but it's, uh... Um... <laughs> uh, let me have a think. Uh, come back to me. I'm, uh... <laughs> have just horrified him <laughs> yeah i don't know if i've got anything to actually I, I don't know if i can use contracts here that's the thing stigheim <laughs> as you finish lapping up the last bit of this purple ichor from your finger you sort you come out of your haze restore 10 points of it and take the Modified condition. Technic old essence overload, but we're gonna call it VT. He is lacking in the critical information to realize how screwed he is, so <clears throat> pretty much. He will continue. Continue where? Down? Unless he hears activity down, probably not. He'll probably go back up top. Obviously, your scene is over, so you would not be in front. Yeah. He could drop it. Nothing. When you return to the surface, Kalmir's no longer there. Uh, did you step out of the portal? Actually, let me ask back in the mortal world or are you still in the shadow? I mean, if I don't see anyone on the shadow side, I guess we poke through the, to the normal side. Yeah, it is desolate. As desolate as those caverns were. Kalmir seems mm. to have for lack of a term, buggered off. Well, how much longer in the night does he have? 
Because I'm gonna, you know, wander down the halls until I find a window or something and I'll stick my head out and try to find the moon. <laughs> the moon has reached and passed its zenith, so we are in the waning hours. Still have probably three, four hours left, but Now is not the time to go on some grand hunt, however. He will... I, su I suppose I'm going to wander back to where, where we landed the helicopter. See if we've got a plan. That takes roughly about 20-30 minutes. As you arrive, you see the hustle and bustle of mortals, members of this hero hour, prepping. It looks like a lot of mechanical devices. Beliefs. I don't think Sigheim uh, knows a lot about mechanical devices. He's not quite an engineer, no. Um. So, honestly, <laughs> you have no idea what they're doing. It looks maybe to be busy work with these devices. Let's see. Well, he will watch for a while, but ultimately find somewhere to kind of take a post for the rest of the night, check his gear, see if he can't stitch up whatever holes have been now ripped into it by many spiders and stranger things besides. Maintenance as he waits for the next night, I suppose. Unless something else catches his attention. Go ahead and... I guess this would be... Intelligence plus crafts thought I would ask Sigheim to roll, but here we are. Yeah, it's not a very good roll, but he's got he, he's got some time. And I backed out of the page somehow. Uh, zero successes. I'd say he was a good he was a good maintaining his own equipment. He should be, but he's you know he's not superhuman at it. He's he's got regular human capabilities don't have what you need here to make the repairs essentially mm. out of one of the field tents the professor exits kind of scratching the back of his head looks over towards you kind of gives you the head look of the others I will give the look of, you know, sh sh shrug shoulder, go back to what I was doing. Kalmir? Oh, yes. Back to you. So, uh... Well, uh correspondence is a one-dot space spell that allows me to track sympathies. I will cast that on the clack clack tongs. See if I can track it back to George. It's only a a one dot. That's uh, fairly easy to do. I don't have any better way of tracking him down. So I don't feel like this requires hubris. So. Alrighty then. Uh, six successes. Anything special for an exceptional, other than a point of mana? I get an extra reach in a direction I choose, and or an extra potency, but uh, I don't really need any of them. Who did we lose? Nobody. We lost Gavin. Yeah. Uh, I 
from uh, from Discord, yeah. From Discord, yeah. Gavin's still on cam, so. Gavin! He won't be able to hear us. But if he sees our mouth move, but no sound, maybe he'll figure it out. <laughs> or someone could just ping him. <laughs> Uh, so well, I will. I guess I'll continue. Because you are able to detect it. Yeah. So I got the the link. Uh, if the other half of the sympathetic link is within my sensory range, I know that and its exact location. So I'll, I'm looking for the one that leads to him. So when you say sensory range. Um... Basic human senses? Basic human senses, yeah. He's not in sensory range. Okay. I have... I get a rough direction, maybe? If not an exact location. <laughs> he is roughly on the other side of town from where the TPA park sits. Precise. Frankfurt, Indiana map. Because even though I grew up there, I don't remember 100% absolutely everything. It would be out towards uh, Green Lawn Cemetery. Interesting. Okay, well then, uh, suppose Kalmer will make his way in that direction then. By foot? Yeah, by foot. He's already... Oh, that's yeah. gonna take a while. Is it? Making sure of the exact amount of... <laughs> Are... On foot, that is one hour and four minutes. My. I said on the opposite end. Yes. Well... Uh... In that case, I have two options. I can either play into the patient virtue and walk anyway and use the time to think. Or I could use this link of sympathy, even if it's kind of vague, and at least teleport nearer. <laughs> you know, Calmer's still gonna walk. He wants he wants to get his thoughts straight. <laughs> Three miles. Not so bad. An hour for three miles? Yeah. Give a, yeah, give or take. Okay. It's been a while since I've walked. Walked. Yes. <laughs> well, judge distance as I walked, I should say. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Go ahead. Calmers are walking. He's getting, you need to get yourself a dog. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are Calmers' thoughts? Um... Well, he's he's trying to calm himself down and think more rationally from earlier, because he does he did lash out because he was kind of uh, overwhelmed down there. So he's you know setting his thoughts in order, trying to plan what are the options that are available. How are we going to if we get said nuke? How are we going to get it down there? How are we going to make sure... It, you know, he's got a bunch of different points trying to find the best option. You have just finished listening to this week's episode of the Contagion Chronicle, The World Plague. 
the conclusion to the Domain Gaming's Contagion Anthology, written and told by Wyvarian. A special thanks to you, the listener, and if you wish to continue supporting us, subscribe, like, and share. As always, comments are welcomed. Until the next chapter, don't stop asking yourself, what is this plague that invades both body and mind?